Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mayuri. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, then you would be aware that I was in Sikkim and last week. And I just got back to Bangalore five days ago due to the corona outbreak. And um, it has been a difficult situation uh, all the way, the journey of coming back from Sikkim to Bangalore. As the transportation was uh, literally short and there were no flights available, flights were being cancelled, rescheduled and flights were delayed and there was so much of pandemic situation that was happening and I thought I should be blogging about this. So first let me just tell you why I was in Sikkim. I have been planning this Sikkim trip for almost about two, two and a half months and uh, I finally made it. I was actually in Sikkim to uh, write my MBA exams. I I am in my fourth semester of MBA and the exams have been getting delayed and finally it was scheduled for March and I had to travel all the way till Sikkim to write my exams. So that way I also planned a trip further after my exams and the entire trip was about almost 15 days uh, including my exam days. I left Bangalore on 13th and before leaving Bangalore I checked with the university if they are still conducting exams and they were and the situation had not gotten that worse like it is currently and I had taken all the precautionary measures by wearing a mask and also carrying hand sanitizer with me. So my exam was about 8 days long and I happened to reach Sikkim on 13th night and my exam was about to start from 14th of March and I had a single paper every single day. When the government announced uh, the lockdown on 17th of March, um, there was a huge chaos and the university had to shut down and send back all the students who were there for exams. On any student who was supposed to come to the university upon 17th were cancelled and they were sent back home. But the students who were actually still there had to continue and finish their exams and leave because the exam had already got delayed way too much. I had to end up taking three to four papers a day because I really had to complete my MBA this time as it had already prolonged for six months and uh, I was in my last semester also so that was a very hectic situation wherein I had to write three to four papers about nine to ten hours continuously and I had to finish my exam and I was trying to reschedule my flight I was supposed to come back to Bangalore on 25th of March as per the scheduled uh, itinerary but then I had to leave the university by 18th itself and also during my stay there that is on 14th of March uh, I also happened to visit a, the nearby locality of the university I didn't really have much network uh, because the university is a little on the hilly side of the area so there's a river that passes just behind the university that's called the Tista river and there's an amazing view and there's a hanging bridge there so I made an effort to finish my exam soon on the first day and I also visited the Tista bridge and the river. It was an amazing experience, really clean and neat and I was really impressed by how the Sikkim state was. It's really neat and clean and well maintained. I wish I'd gotten a chance to go ahead further and uh, explore the city but nonetheless I will definitely visit Sikkim again. short clip of the Tista bridge and uh, I'll also be making a separate blog about the Sikkim University and the surroundings there as I really enjoyed my stay there. So one more good thing that happened when I started my trip was when I was about to enter the Sikkim borders through roadways I was checking for each and every individual and it was made sure that nobody else who's infected from outside comes into the state and he doesn't uh, infect the people in the state. So that thing happened and even when I entered the Sikkim University there were around two to three rounds of screening that was done. We were completely checked with our temperature. Sikkim University also had this health dispensary where there were specialized doctors who actually took care of the students who came there and um, we had assistance at all time at the university. So that was really assuring for me and my family back at home that I was pretty safe there 
and um, I could peacefully write my exams. There was not much uh, media communication and internet there. I couldn't really get to know what was the issue that was happening. I, all I could do was call home and check uh, what's happening and what's the news that's going on. All my hotel bookings were cancelled. I didn't really know what I should be doing. Um, I chose to cancel all my other bookings and I tried to reschedule my flight and it took me about 10 hours to reschedule my domestic flight and I cannot understand what might be the plight for people who were actually traveling international and uh, what can be the chaos that would have caused for them when they had to get back home. Get a direct flight. I didn't really get a direct flight from West Bengal to Bangalore. I had to take a connecting flight from Kolkata. So that took a little longer a flight that would take usually three hours took me about six hours i spent about entire 13 to 14 hours traveling in a day when i had to leave sikkim university by road and reach west bengal airport that was about six hours of road journey uh, make other payments for rescheduling and um, i finally got my flight i left early morning at five o'clock uh, from sikkim and I ended up reaching Bangalore at around 12 o'clock at night. So that was a really long journey. But let's hope everybody is doing self-quarantine at their home because it's really important to stay home and cut the chain of spreading the virus. It's really important to stay alive right now rather than traveling and having a gala time. So everybody, it's a humble request to stay back home and stay safe. With the rapid rate of death that's happening around the world, it's very important to take all the precautionary measures that every single person has to be very conscious about their activities and not go outside and cut the chain of spreading the virus. So there are a lot of things that you can still do staying at home and not get bored. You could actually start developing a new hobby. So maybe you could start reading a new novel or maybe watch new series on Netflix or watch all the pending movies that you haven't watched. So I am doing one of those things. I've been reading books right now and I haven't really gotten time to edit my videos uh, from the travel that I had uh, taken a trip to Jammu and uh, to Agra in the month of Jan. So I'm going to stay back home and do some reading and also do some editing. I also get the privilege to work from home so that's an added advantage and it's going to keep me occupied and busy. So I'm going to be also working and in my spare time I'll also get some time to develop some more hobbies and also get some time to edit my blogs. So I would like to say uh, when I'm posting my videos um, I'm not really encouraging people to travel. So these videos are from my previous travel. Due to this coronavirus a lot of people have been affected and there's a huge uh, effect on the working class not everybody gets the privilege to work from home only mncs get that privilege and daily workers and cab drivers don't really get that privilege and for people who are dependent on their daily wages the coronavirus has really affected them really bad so let us be more generous and be empathetic and we could give out uh, tips for delivery boys or pay a little extra for the uber ola and auto drivers and pay a little extra to the vegetable vendors because that would be a really great help for them. I'll also be posting few videos from the trip that I took in Jan. I have few of them um, and I've been lagging behind in posting those videos and it's been a long time since I took those trips. I'll also be posting a video that I took in the Sikkim University. I recently got a GoPro. If you guys have been following on my Instagram then you'll get to know uh, what and all I've been doing and you can also see all my activities I really wanted to try out my GoPro and I was really excited for it but I didn't really get uh, that much of leverage to try that but then I still experimented a little with uh, the GoPro and recorded few parts of the Sikkim University so I'll be glad to share that uh, so stay tuned and stay healthy and stay safe so I'll see you guys in my next video